Hello, welcome to a movie review of Iron Man 3. I've locked the doors, nobody can get in the bathroom. I'm just saying, go to the bathroom. Somebody tries to get in, but anywho, I watched it on the plane on the way home. Toilet. Watched it on the plane on the way home, and uh, I guess I can see why a lot of people don't like it. The beginning's bad. It's awkwardly paced, like, there'll be these really rushed feeling, like, calm scenes followed by dramatic action sequences. The whole movie kind of suffers from that problem, but the beginning is the worst part. It seems like there's one character in particular that I swear, it seems like every scene she's in gets like cut off by some action thing or some dude trying to kill somebody or something crazy like that. But yeah, and what surprised me is that his house getting blown up. I thought that was more the end of the movie. That's like halfway through the movie. And after that, I actually started liking the movie. I mean, it's it's awkwardly paced and a little over the top with the action sequences. But there are some parts that I liked, like the interaction between uh, Tony Stark and the uh, the boy that he meets in Tennessee. It don't make sense if you watch the movie. It's very, very entertaining because the boy... It makes him feel more like a normal character, and that's another thing I liked about it. Uh, it really showed another side to Iron Man, because, like, in the first two movies, he's just this egotistical, like, self-absorbed superhero guy. In this one, he's, like, much of that ego has gone away, and he kind of just, like, he wants to protect Pepper, and, which, and, like... He's got like anxiety issues about the event, about something, about what happened at the end of the Avengers for some reason. I don't know why, but he just does. And it shows him, as, it makes him seem more like a normal human being, which is cool. I mean, which is cool. It's nice to see him seem more like a, like a normal person. And when he interacts with the boy, that's when you can see that most, because they're, they're like a man and a boy, and they're talking. I mean, the boy's a very normal, normal kid, and the man, well, Tony Stark, is is a very normal person during those parts. Other parts are really, like, over the top, and, and he gets defeated a lot. Like, he's not, like, some super all-powerful, like, the genetically enhanced mutant people that are in the movie, they, at one point, one of them fights him, and... He gets taken down in the fight. So, like, it shows him as m less of a, like, a super powerful, awesome superhero. And, and uh, the other movies did some of that, too, but not to the extent. Of, shows him as more of a, like, a... M what, he, what he is out inside. Like, when you take away the Iron Man persona and the egotistical behavior and all that, you see what he is. He's kind of insecure and afraid a little interesting i liked seeing that side of iron man that so i don't get why people hate on this movie i mean sure it's kind of got a the plot is kind of similar to the second movie a little but there's a twist that no one will see coming but uh yeah just a little parts of it are like over the top and ridiculous but uh there are some good moments, and yeah, good. I'd say uh, maybe a six, five, six out of ten. I don't know. Arrivederci!